Um, yeah, I started coaching um, <coughs> in June of 2011. How am I gonna do this with a very busy 60, 70 hour week job that was actually sucking the life out of me? How am I gonna do it? It became the best part of my day, right? I mean, it's fun. Now it's hard work, <laughs> but it's fun. And so that's just what I did. I just started doing it just, you know, got up in the morning and did my work and then got home and did, did some more Facebook stuff and it became the best part of my day. And within about six months, I had, you know, started building my business, um, but things kind of fell apart at my job. One month shy of my 20th anniversary, it came to an end. <laughs> So job security, job loyalty, I don't know. It's kind of a myth. It can happen to anybody, right? Um, it was very devastating, but at the same time, it was almost like this weight had lifted off my shoulders. And as I shed the tears, you know, for the loss of my 20 year career that I, I had no identity outside of that, right? Um, at the same time, I was struggling for joy, and I told my husband, I said, I am never going back to that. I don't ever want to feel like that again. I don't ever want to wake up every day, dreading the day, feeling like I'm nothing, being treated like nothing, and being, you know, having no positivity in my life. I'm never going to do that again. And um, we, we had a little financial cushion from the, the separation package, and I was able to build my business and just dive in. And I just think that's, you know, for me, my best advice to you is if you're if you're gonna do it, do it. Don't dabble. Um, don't say, oh, I'm gonna give myself six months. You go all in. I mean, I see people that, that are in the same situation as me, that they separated from corporate America and they had the time, which again, so many of you I know, are working this with your full-time jobs. But even when they had the time, they didn't do it. For me, it was life or death. Our family needed an income. I promised my family that I would replace my income. And I promised myself I would never do it the way I had done it for 20 years. And so, just so blessed now, you know, four years in, to, to be, making more money than I was after 20 years. So think about this. You spend, how long at your current job? And I spent 20 years working my way up to the income that I had. So you work hard at the job you have while you're working for somebody else, helping to make the company you know, richer, make their profits bigger, and you get your 2% raise every year, maybe if you're lucky. Or you go all in and you build something for yourself, for your family, and it's limitless. Your, your income potential is limitless, your freedom. It's not even about income, the freedom. I don't wake up every day anymore sad. I don't, wake, I don't start getting anxiety in my stomach on Saturday night, dreading Monday morning. Um, you know, when we wanna go, we go. When I need to do stuff with the kids, I do stuff with the kids. My kids are teenagers. They were an adventure club all of their life. Spring break, Christmas break, every day after school. Now they're not. I mean, they wouldn't be anyway because they're teenagers, but now we have time together. My daughter's graduating this year. It's just, it's been priceless. So that's, that's really kind of, I guess, my success story with this is that it's, yeah, the financial, if you help people, this is what, um, I think Paul Dyker said um, when we were in Cancun, if you help people, if that's your focus, the rest will come. And it's okay to make money doing this. Don't feel guilty about that. If you help people, the rest will come. Focus on the help. You will be rewarded with income. You'll be rewarded with successful influence. You'll be rewarded with all the things that you need to make your life fulfilling. But just go all in. Believe that it can happen, even when you don't know that it can. Because there was times when I didn't know. I didn't know how it was going to happen. There was times when John and I had the conversation about, you say, what's your plan B? I don't have one. It's not an option. It's not an option. I have no plan B. <laughs> and it's probably, he's like, oh my gosh, he has no plan B. 
But you know, here we are today. So good luck to everybody, and I hope to see you guys up here as a